Hello, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Uh, I'm in my studio and uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration painting here. And today is, uh, I'm going to do this little duckling here swimming in the water. And uh, it's a prompt uh, from my Doodle Wash uh, uh, website that I do every day. And this is, uh, the challenge here is going to be to get the water underneath there and show it uh, as the duck, little duckling is swimming. So that's my uh, reference photograph. And what I've done here is I've, I've made a sketch here on my 140 pound uh, field sketchbook, 140 pound watercolor paper. And uh, I've sketched in the uh, the shape of the little duckling and uh, where the water is going to be and so forth. So here's my, here's my diagram that I'm going to use for my uh, painting. Over here I've got some uh, four brushes. These are Holbein synthetic brush. This is a number 16 round synthetic brush. This is a half inch flat Holbein brush. This is a three quarter inch flat Holbein brush and the number six round Holbein brush. Okay, these are all on my website everswatercolors.com and they're, they're on my supply page available for uh, ordering. Okay, the first thing I want to do is mix up some uh, yellow. This is a permanent lemon yellow. And I'm just going to go in and get that color on the, don't worry about uh, the edges. I'm going to put in some darks around this. So all I got to do is just capture this color here on the main body. And uh, this nice big round brush. The, the reason I'm using a round brush here is because this is, I have some circular shapes. So with a circular shape, I like to use a round brush. It's a lot, uh, easier to follow the curves and the angles and so forth. Now, underneath, now this part down here is going to be a little bit more blurred and it's going to change color a little bit. So I'm going to put a little darker value down here uh, under this section here, a little darker value. It's a little experimental here too, so we'll see how this is going to work out. So I always pick a challenge. I always challenge uh, myself to get a little, a little different uh, subject, and maybe try a different technique. But as I, I start to work around with this, and uh, let's see, I'm going to have to get some, a uh, little bit of uh, color here also on the. Okay. I may switch brushes. Get a smaller brush here, and uh, take this uh, lemon yellow and move it down here at the bottom. And it's less defined under underneath the water, so I'm just kind of just capturing some of the color under there. Okay. All right. Now it's, it's still wet, so I'm going to have to let it dry just a little bit before I get into the uh, rest of the painting. Uh, what I can do though is I can add a little a little color up here to the bill and I'm using my colors are a little bit uh, different than from the picture because I want them to be a little more colorful and a little more defined so I pretty well got the shape of the a little duckling there at this point. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that dry, and we'll come back and uh, do work some more. Yeah, I'm going to uh, to start working on the, the little darker colors. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to test a little bit about uh, what I want the under underwater section look like. So here I'll take a, a test, do a test sheet here. So this. This represents the color that I have This represents the color that I have here under the water which is a more of an orangey yellow orangey yellow mix here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test to see what color I'm going to put across that to give it uh, maybe a, 
underwater look. So I'm going to use a little bit of aquamarine blue, which is almost a complement of the orange. It is the blue is complement of the orange, so it'll gray it down a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, ultramarine blue, and I'm going to go across that and see what it looks like. You see how it grays it down? It grays it down, okay? And I could try a little bit of quinacridone violet, which has got a little bit of red in it. That may not work. Now, see, it's too much red in that. But so the blue, the the, uh, the aquamarine blue across there gives me that gives me that dull looking color. But I don't want too much of it. Just a just a, a just a gradual. A very light wash across there so let me take the smaller half inch brush and load it with load it with ultramarine blue a very light wash a light wash and then i'm going to take that and go across here And what that does, what that will do is that will dull that color down. Okay, I'll let that dry. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix some of the dark colors. I'm going to use uh, a little bit of green and blue. Mix up a little bit of green and a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue. And then mix in a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, maybe. And get a little bit of a little bit of violet in there with the green. Okay. So then, uh, you know, I just mixed the colors with the uh, number sixteen round. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to use my big flat brush for the background. And uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll wet the paper a little bit. Uh, I'll put some water down on the paper first. So I'm re I'm re wetting. I'm wetting the background area, and then I'll pick up the paint. This is like a little wet on wet, a little wet on wet technique. So I'm picking up uh, some of the darker colors in my background. And then I'm going to go around the light of the light colors, which is the, the duckling. And I'll go in here behind. So with this flat brush, I get a nice I get a nice sharp edge. I can use the corner of the brush to get around this the edges. You see I'm using the corner of the brush here just to, to draw, really draw that line. And pick up a little more blue. Maybe a little brown. So there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, trees or background here colors. Uh, some foliage. A lot of greens, but they're browns and blues mixed in there. Now as I come around here, pick up some more of that green, and I just, as I say, I use the side, I'm using the edge of the brush, the flat edge of this, of this round, of this flat brush, and I'm going to turn the page a little bit so I can get the right angle here, and I just, uh, it, just very carefully go up the next to that shape, I'm following my drawing, Be 
using the corner of the brush. So I can use this flat brush almost like a, a round brush because of the because of the sharp corners I can make with this. Using the edge of the brush, just uh, getting a detail there, a little detail, and uh, get the corner there, there, and just shape out the shape here of the front. Now, what I'm going to do now in, into the water, I'm going to put a little more, a little more blue into the mix. I believe that color that I put down there, but now I'm just now I'm going to go around that edge with a darker color for the under under the water. A little more blue as I go down. Water gets a little a little darker as you go down a little deeper, so I'm going to simulate that and go around this little edge here. I'm shaping in that little uh, the little foot. The duckling. You notice here I'm using the uh, I'm using a corner of the brush. I'm using a just using that for my design. I'm using a flat brush to get all these little marks. And I want this. I want the uh, the colors and the shape underneath the water to look a little fuzzy, a little less defined than. In the body, so it looks like it's underwater. And coming around here to the other side here. A little deeper, a little deeper blue at the bottom, the bottom of the pond. Little duckling is swimming in. Now, what I think I'll do is uh, I'll take the blue here, a little more blue, add a little green to that. And uh, try to define this edge of the water a little bit. Top edge of the water. And take some more blue and uh, go down here and darken up the the bottom of the water a little bit more. Adding a little more, adding a little more color to the water. 
make a little darker so that the colors of the, the duckling will stand out. So the, the color contrast against the dark against the lights will make the the lights look brighter. And of course the color contrast, the uh, the blue against the orange and, and yellow will make the, uh, the yellows look a lot brighter for the contrast. Okay, and up here, up here for the uh, the duckling. A little, I've got a little bit. I'm using my uh, number six round, and I'm use I'm using uh, Payne's gray, which is a which is black, and I'm going to use that to use that for the eye. That's the eye, and then. Um, Using the number six round for more detail, I'm going to take a little bit of red. This is pyro red. I'm going to put that inside to define uh, inside the bill. I think I'll take some of that red and I'll put uh, that's that's pretty pretty uh, red is awful strong so I'm gonna use a little bit of orange. I'm going to put a little more detail here on these part of the part of the uh, foot here of the of the little duckling. A little he show his little toes in between the webs and over here darken this section of the leg up a little more orange. Okay, well it's all wet now here in the bottom, so I'm gonna let it, let it dry and then maybe come back and do some final touches. But uh, just about done. Okay, it's dry. I'm gonna go back in and do a little do a little touch up here. So around the uh, around the bill here, I'm gonna take a little dark uh, little dark blue and. Uh, Paint some of the inside, the inside color there. It'll show a little depth at that point. And then take a little more of that uh, orange color, yellow orange. And we'll shape this, we'll shape this bill. Make sure that uh, that brush was uh, mixed in with a little bit so I'll make sure it's a, a good orange and go back in there I shape that mouth a little bit better. Uh, let's see there might be a little a little shadow a little shadow here under the around the neck area and across the eye okay. And then what I'm going to do here with the uh, with the water, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, 
a little bit more water. What I'm going to do with the water here, the water should be a little, a little, so I'm going to re-wet it, re-wet the paint. And this is easy to do. You just re-wet the paint. And I'm going to spread that color out so it's a little bit smoother looking. So the water will look like it's, uh, Well, let's say not not flat but look like it's you don't want too much texture in the water you just want the nice gradual color change and it's more smooth it's like a more smooth more smooth flowing look so by re-wetting it i'm moving the paint moving the pigment around on the paper so re -wet the, I'm re-wetting the paint, not putting any more paint down, just taking what the paint's there, and uh, I'm spreading the color around, but I'm also smoothing out the paint that's on the paper. And I get a little bit of variation, the little lights and darks where shadows and lights reflecting off of different parts of the landscape, and part of the uh, part of the duckling is reflecting into the water but by spreading that out it's going to look more like a water but more like water than than what it was before so that needs to be a little bit need to be fixed up a little bit okay but what i want to do around the edges here I'm going to use I'm going to use some Chinese white Chinese white and what I'm going to do is put some of that across here to give like a little glisten a little indication that may be reflection on the water and even uh, even underneath here just a little reflections so this will give a little indication that uh, there's some movement going down there underneath the water so i'm using a little bit of i'm using a little bit of artist license here to come up with a little more interesting And I think I'll put a little glisten on top of the on top of the, the light's hitting the top of the water, so I'm going to give a little bit of a little bit of uh, glistening on the water, a little reflection from the from the light. And it could be some over here. So this white white paint gives you a little more opportunity to make a little correction, not correction, but a little more addition, a little more interest to uh, a subject. In this case. Uh, I think it needed a little. I needed a little uh, indication of some light reflection. Well, this finishes up the uh, little experiment I did here on this little duckling in the in the pond. Uh, it was a, quite a challenge here to get the water to look uh, muted underneath there with the different colors, but I tried some things out here that I think worked okay. And I used uh, the four brush, my four Holbein brushes, my two flats and two round brushes, and uh, lots of colors and, and variations. So it, it was an experiment. It was uh, try something new, and I think uh, it's something that uh, you can learn a good lesson from. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified of my next video. So we'll see you in the next video.